How's it going YouTube? So I'm going to show you a very easy tutorial on how to set up a Vista unit on a FETTEC flight controller. This is an F7 flight controller, um, but the setup process for this and the G4 board is nearly identical. So I figured I'd just show you on the older board because that's what I've got. Um, this is going to be using the FETTEC Alpha firmware, which is technically unreleased, but a lot of people have been flying it lately. Um, it's got a brand new GUI, it's written from the ground up, and the setup process is simple, but it does take a little bit of learning their new uh, you know, layout for everything. So I just wanted to make a quick video because I was trying to set it up for myself and couldn't find any resources on it, so I decided to make a video. Um, so really, the focus should be, if you're in this situation where you're trying to set this up, the new firmware. Um, first and foremost, get your pinout correct. I'm going to put on the screen what the pinouts are for this board and the G4, along with the Vista unit and what that comes with, because um, it's totally wrong right out of the box. So we're going to get this right. We're going to plug this in. And once you're ready to rock, um, we're going to jump right into the FETTEC GUI. So now we're going to open up the FETTEC configurator, which you need Google Chrome for. You're going to go to gui.fettech.net, as I have here in my browser. We're going to go into the FC configurator, open port. We're going to connect to our flight controller. We're going to go into the FC setup tab. And in here, under serial, you're going to see your MSP port 1 and MSP port 2. Those are the two serial ports that are on our board. So being that this is the F7 board, we have a serial 1 on top. So we're going to make sure that this is set to serial 1. If you're using the newer G4 board, this would be actually serial 3. So just set it to serial 3 and hit save. Um, otherwise, there is nothing else that you need to do in here. You can go into the OST tab if you're curious. Um, and just see that there is actually no DGI setting here. It's just analog HD zero, but doesn't matter. Just leave it at that and exit out and everything's gonna work. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. It's a super short tutorial. I hope you find it to be helpful. Um, if you have any questions about the FedTech Alpha, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Or if you're trying this out and it's not working for you for whatever reason, feel free to drop a line also. I'll try to help you out. Um, if you could, please leave a like and make sure that you're subscribed to my content. I'm going to be pumping out a bunch more videos this summer and we are going to have a blast. And make sure you say hi to the chicken up there, right over there. Okay, peace. Mm -hmm.